Hi, this is Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. I'm here with Eugene Borokovic. He's the Global Head of Digital Health for Bayer. Eugene, good to see you. Good to see you as always. Good. So I understand that your accelerator generator generator challenge just yes. closed in New York and I was actually there and I was surprised to see some of the things that buyer invested in not only on the on the cannabis side which is really cool I'd like you to talk about that but also on like the natural nutraceuticals kind of side of things too so tell me a little bit about what won yep. and why so uh, first of all uh, we actually not investing so this program was meant to do a commercial deal okay. And if you think about the topics that we've chosen, everything from nutrition to sun care, to pain management, to self-care, if you think about our consumer business, that's at the core of it. Now, the question is, are we moving quick enough, right? right. Um, as a large organization um, and a regulatory process, how do we move this, how do we make these deals, how do we advance our company forward? And that's why we selected these areas, which are still core to our business, but the idea behind it is how do we do these commercial arrangements uh, with companies like Huna um, or the CBD company? Um, and how do we actually become the market shapers? Because the stuff is going on around us anyway, right? So we'll see where the company and the risk averseness is and how much we with the team and with the consumer business can push uh, with our regulatory bodies. Uh, specifically around that. Um, I think around the self-care, I found it very interesting. We, we actually had a very tough choice between Santa Technologies, you guys can look it up, I won't go into it, uh, or Think Pacifica or Pacifica, which uh, you know I think Headspace and mental health and diseases. There's a lot of outcomes being collected already, and I think ultimately the root cause uh, with, about our diseases, um, it's lack of sleep, it's mental, et cetera. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, actually cinching, finalizing these deals with the company. So that's yeah, I am too, because I mean, truly, like they were such a variety of solutions. So yeah. I mean, everybody needs to check that out, take a look and see who won, because it was really, and I do have to, to drill in for a second on the CBD um, company, because it was it was a lotion that actually helped with like stress relief, and it was used for pain. It was like an anti-pain yep. thing. And I'm just curious, I mean, like in a pharmaceutical company, this is a big company, and we haven't seen a lot of big companies move into that space. Was there a lot of discussion internally about uh, that? I mean, because I mean, you yep. guys have to tread carefully, you're a name people trust. No, absolutely, and actually I think part of that, because we're the name people trust, and if we can work with the regulators, so there was a lot of discussions, yeah. even for that company to make it into the finals. Um, and uh, to be honest, I think during the, um, uh, the whole, the final selection process, um, we, I, I think there was pretty much consensus that let's really dive in, let's really look at it. I mean, at the end of the day, if you look at the regulations, uh, I don't want to quote the number of states, but different levels of CBD are allowed. Yeah. So how do we work with the regulators and find the clinical proof points because the company is lacking them today. So can we work together? And it is a journey. No, so it depends admirable. on, yeah. I really admire the bold yep. stuff that you guys took there. So yep. congratulations on that. Okay, enough about that. We have to talk yep. about what's next because this is what's the future. And I do want to know what you guys are working on next. Yep. So you got all these little things in the pipeline. Tell me where it's going. And, and, and that's actually an interesting point. You got a lot of these little things, right? Because with the G4A, we run a lot of uh, what I would say early stage, right? So the accelerator program is closing in two days. Uh, we have the commercial uh, arrangements that is a little more mature, but it's a lot of different things. And I would say um, on one side and where the programs have been focused is how do we solve the challenges of our existing core business and advance them slowly and evolutionary? <laughs> the question becomes how do we speed that up and how do we bear do better things, right? right. And I, I, I will bring up the CBD, you know, can we do better things? Is it better things, right? right. Um, the one thing I'm actually very excited about and, and one of our topics in the accelerator is digital therapeutics. Okay. Um, I think there it is a buzzword, just like okay, digital so health was. That. Define that for me. How are you uh, so I look at it, you know, Proteus pill, there's an electronic, so that's a digital therapeutic. Okay. That's inside your body. Mm -hmm. You have wraparound solutions, okay. uh, so something like around schizophrenia, for example, and behavior change. And then the interesting part, which is I think, you know, pharma and life sciences can wrap their head around this, is can there be a software-only solution? <laughs> Right? Yeah. Can you change the behavior? Can you, um, you know, there's a company that I met, Tinny Tracks, which we knew them from way before, Berlin Company. Uh, tinnitus is being treated purely by music. It's a prescription, awesome. right? And it's being reimbursed. So let's see, that's the future. Um, and um, I always do say the small molecules will still be there for foreseeable future. 
The large molecules we're exploring with our LEAPS program, right, the CRISPR um, joint venture. Yes. So we're, we're pretty active in that space. And I see with, uh, with kind of my team in G4A, we're filling a little bit of that void of, I would say, three to five years. Where do we go next as buyer? And how fast can we get there, really, and right? I always say it's a race to a speed of an organization. How quickly can we learn? How quickly can we you know, adopt things and change? Are you satisfied with the pace you're moving at now? Never satisfied. Oh. Never satisfied. <laughs> you heard it, go faster. <laughs> go faster, team. <laughs> go faster and break things, yes. right? That's exactly yep. right. Yep. All right, Eugene, so here we are. We're at um, HIMSS Health 2.0 Europe. I wanted to know here, too, if there was anything like, I mean, we, you're one of those people who travels the world. You know, you get to see startups from all over. I mean, not even just the U.S. and Europe, but also, I mean, in China. I mean, you get to go to Singapore. You get to go everywhere. Israel. What's cool? Like, yep. what's caught your eye lately where you're like, digital therapeutics is one area, but, yep. I mean, put take the Bayer hat off, yeah, yeah, my yeah, friend, yeah, and yeah. tell yeah. me, what's cool to you right uh, now? Honestly, and, and it is bundled into digital therapeutics to a certain extent. I'm sorry, but no, the, to okay. me, it's actually the exciting part. I, I do think the virtual reality where it really started as toying around, gaming, etc. I mean, we had the uncomfort on, on stage, which I actually tried yesterday and on stage myself. And we actually, as Bayer, we're working with uh, Applied VR uh, and Samsung. Yeah. We're doing a clinical trial or sponsoring it. I do think there's a concept of, um, you know, mental health, um, headspace, not as a company necessarily, but just, <laughs> and, and, um, uh, the smoothing colors and how do your mind react because it is altering your mind right. and we just need the clinical evidence and I think it's all around us already and how do we miniaturize it and these technologies will get smaller, will be embedded, uh, whatever whatever that future holds. To me, that's one of the most exciting spaces, honestly. Awesome. Yep. Eugene, always a pleasure. I love to hear, pick your brain on what's coming up, and you're doing such exciting things with G4A, so thank you so much for kind of leading the way in terms thank of you. modeling good innovation behavior in this industry. Thank Thanks you. a ton. I'm Jessica Damasa with WTF Health. Thanks for joining us.